By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And in today's episode, I have the second game for you from my Odal campaign. Uh, I played, I play, I should say, my Timmy's Spellbook deck in this tournament. For the people that don't know, Odal stands for Online Dutch Old School League. It's quite nice. If you want to know more about it, check the description below. There you will find a link to the event, to the Facebook page of the event. Um, what else is there to say? My opponent, of course, I'm playing against a strong opponent. He comes from Germany. His name is Florian, and he's actually playing with one of his favorite decks, Robots. So I'm in for a serious battle here. Now, before I go to the deck tech, just want to point out that you can check the description below. There you will find timestamps, one of those will be named MTG Games. Click on there and that will take you straight to the actual action if you wanna skip on the deck tech. So um, that's it. I'm now going to start with the deck tech. I'm actually gonna just start with my deck, Timmy's Spellbook. Let's take a look. And here we see my deck again. It's still Timmy's Spellbook. This is the deck that I'm playing, this Odal. I'm not really gonna go into the deck tech because I've already done that uh, in the previous Odal match. So if you wanna know more about this deck, I would advise you to kind of go back there and you can see a whole deck deck. Um, it is monocolored and when I'm thinking about my opponent, my opponent's playing with robots and obviously the difficulty here is because my deck is also pretty artifact heavy, um, how am I going to deal with the big and the problematic artifacts of my opponent? Now, I don't have any steel artifacts in my sideboard. I have Hercules Recall in my sideboard, so that could be a, so a solution. But remember, Hercules Recall, of course, is terrible to play against a trike or even against the Tetravas, you know, because they can just recast them, uh, especially against a trike, because he will get like three counters again. So in response to my Hercules Recall, he, he can get his counters off, throw three counters at me, um, so I take three damage or kill some of my Timmies, and then just play it out again. So it's going to be really difficult. I also know that he plays with Mana Vaults, so Hercules Recall is not great against Mana Vaults. Of course, I think my Icy Manipulators can do a lot of work. My Copy Artifacts can do a lot of work. But yeah, it's going to be tough. With a matchup against robots, I would really feel more comfortable if I would play, for example, white, which has a lot of uh, answers to artifacts. So it's going to be challenging, not impossible, because I, I also benefit from artifacts with copy artifact, with my ICs. So it's not gonna be impossible. I have counter magic as well, but it's going to be tough. So this is the list. Uh, I think I'm actually, when I'm looking at my sideboard, just one last note, I think I'm probably gonna board in my two Nevenerals discs and my extra copy artifact after the first game. And obviously I will also have to board in my four blue elemental blasts, or at least three of them, just for this for the simple sake that my opponent is playing with red. So he's gonna board in red elemental blast. And this is not a problem with playing a mono blue deck. Whenever somebody splashes the color red in, uh, in their 60, I'm kind of forced to get those blue elemental blasts from my sideboard, but they're just not as efficient because my opponent can use it on every card that I play the red elemental blast, and I can only play my blue elemental blast on a small selection of cards of my opponent. So that kind of makes it makes it difficult, but um, I, I, I think the Robes deck is a favorite, but I definitely have a chance, of course. So you know what, let's, let's take a look at Florian's deck and I can kind of explain to you what I actually mean here. Let's take a look. And here we see the robots deck of Florian. Now I actually don't know if this is the specific deck that he's playing today, because this is the picture is taken from the Raging Bull series, uh, the website. So I'll put a link to that as well in the description below. It's another great event, uh, by the way. I believe that Florian, or actually I know that Florian also organizes old school tournaments as well. He's done uh, and is still doing a lot for the old school community. So really a great guy in that perspective and also a great organizer. Now as a magicker, Man, I think I think Florian, <laughs> I've never been able to to win against you. So uh, yeah, but I'm go I'm gonna try today. So let's take a look at his deck. There we see the Fortress Skeletons that I talked about a little bit. I'm really afraid of those trikes actually, uh, and also in combination with of course his copy artifacts and his anime debt. Like he can really quickly. This deck is quite explosive, also because of the mana vaults and of course the Moxen and just you know those power cards. He can really quickly 
play out um, his threats and he can use his copy artifacts in different ways, just like I use them in my deck actually. He can use them to copy a Mox, copy a Mana Vault, you know, copy a Soul Ring, but he can also use it to copy a Factory uh, and later in the game or in turn three, who knows how quickly he gets a trike out, he can use it to start copying trikes. Um, he has that one copy of Tetravus, which works really well with Sage of Latinam. He has that single ATOC in the deck, which I think is a great addition. Now, again, I don't know if he changed this because this is a deck picture of another tournament, but I do know he's playing with robots again, so it's going to be similar to this. And uh, there are just a lot of threats in this deck. I think what he wants to do is he just really wants to make a quick start, just really go over the top, play out a trike, keep copying the trikes. Um, and of course, one of the noticeable things here is he's playing with blue, but he's not playing with any counter magic, right? And I think that is a great move because a lot of people will expect you to play with counter magic. Now, again, I don't know um, if he is playing with counter mag magic now. Um, there's probably a mana drain here in somewhere. I can't see it now, but it's probably there, maybe underneath those side blasts. But anyway, um, it looks like he's not playing with any counter spells, which is interesting because you're kind of expecting him to. So it's always nice when you're doing something else that your opponent is not expecting. Um, he's also playing with City in a Bottle. I'm also playing with City in a Bottle, which is kind of funny. So they're, they don't really have a function for us both in this matchup. So they're probably going to be boarded out. Um, I'm really dreading those red elemental blasts there that you see in the sideboard. Those are definitely coming in against me. So that's going to be a big problem. I think that I'll probably have to board out my Timmy's after game one just because of all those trikes. But I guess I'm kind of getting ahead of myself discussing sideboards again. Anyway, this is a strong deck. Um, I think in the Raging Bull series, the tournament that I just talked about, he reached the semifinals with this deck. And in those semis, he was super unlucky. He was like, he's playing Malta, I believe. He was a great player, but he was... Very unlucky in that uh, specific matchup. I'm actually I'll put a put a link here to that match so you can actually check it out. It's if you haven't seen it, it's it's a crazy match. Anyway, uh, this is the deck tech section. Let's go to the games. Let's go to game one. Game number one. I'm sitting on the left. Left. My opponent Florian is sitting on the right. Let's take a look who's going to start here. It looks like I am starting with the Teleria passing turn here. So a bit of a slow start for me. Let's see what Florian can do here with the robots. It can be quite explosive with those mana vaults. Ooh, look at that. Mox Ruby. And this is this is kind of what I meant with those copy artifacts. They're also good early game. He's ramping already. So he's got an extra mana. And I'm finding a library of Alexandria. But I was on the play, of course. And I only have six in hand now. So I just have to wait an entire turn. Oh, this is, oh man, seriously? Jesus Christ. I mean, good play, good play. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, good play. Nice, mind twist. So um, this is just so tough uh, because obviously I'm deciding not to play a second blue and that would have given me counter options. But, you know, I was taking a risk, I guess, with the Library of Alexandria. Look at this Ancestral Recall. There's at least my Counterspell. At least that's something here, but only two cards in hand, even without the Counterspell. It's looking pretty good for him. So I'm untapping here, drawing a card, playing a Mishra's Factory, playing a Timmy here. Only one card left. And uh, I'm just not going to pretend to have a Counterspell in that last uh, card in hand here. And let's see, there is a Tetravus. Nice counters there, nice cards. And I'm playing an Icy Manipulator. Okay, at least this is something. And he's trying now to sl split them up into two twos, which is actually um, not possible. So with the Tetravus, you have to choose, or you can make the Tetravis, you can take the counters off, but all separate, so you can't put them together. So it's one Tetravite, two Tetravite, three Tetravite. Obviously, um, Florian doesn't want to do this because I have that Timmy on the board. And look at that, another copy artifact. He's asking for a response, but I have nothing in hand, of course. And uh, wow, this is looking very dreadful for me. He can just swing in here. Well, he's going to declare attacks probably first, and then I'm going to tap his Tetravis in response. That's exactly what's happening here. That means I don't take any damage, but look at that. He still has cards in hand. 
He's got two four fours. Oh, demonic tutor. I wonder what he's going to look up. I mean, he's got the Loa, but I also have one. So he's probably not going to look up a time twister. I'm not expecting him to. Would be fun for the game. And, uh, you know, look at that graveyard of Florian, by the way. It's just filled with quality there. We've got Mind Twist, Ancestral Recall, and Demonic Tutor. That's just uh, crazy. Beautiful black bordered cards as well. Oh, he's playing a Time Walk. Of course he is. Oh, man. This is painful to look at, actually. He's not going to swing in for 10. And he can actually pump it. So that's 11 damage in one turn. I'm going to go down to 9 here. And there's really not much I can do. I'm going to ping him for 1 with my Timmy. Just for what it's worth. Drawing my single card. I guess at least I need an Ancestral Recall here. And then draw into something more. Like usefulness. To stand a chance. I'm on 9 here. I think he can already kill me now. Animating both factories. He's going to swing in. I think... He's actually only animating one, so he's very careful here. I'm taking eight damage, animating my own factory, and I'm going to block and pump. So we're going to trade the factories. I'm going to drop down to five. There is a Suchi, more gasoline for my opponent here. going to ping him for one. At least my Timmy's pinging. At least that's something. Finding a Mox Sapphire, beautiful Mox Sapphire, but it's not going to help me here. Passing turn. And uh, yeah, tapping one down, that's it. I am absolutely dead, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is, am I going to play something that's going to save me here? Um, okay, this is it. I guess Hercules Recall in the sideboard could have kind of saved me. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to our sideboards and let's uh, hope that I have more luck in game number two. Game number two. Okay, here we go. At least I'm on the play. I was on the play actually in, uh, <clears throat> in game one as well. That didn't really help me much, but let's see. Who knows? And Okay, starting with the Tolaria again and no follow-up here. Oh, Florian here starting with a library and shall I tell you something? What do you think I boarded out? Okay, also playing Ruby into a soul ring here. Of course, I boarded out my city in a bottle because there's just not a lot of Arabian Nights. Now the problem is when you're playing mono blue, there's not much you can do against Lance. Of course, I'm playing with Chaos Sorp and Strip Mine, but those are just two options. Okay, I'm finding at least my own Library of Alexandria here, but I'm kind of having that same issue where I've got six in hand, so I've got to wait. So I'm giving Florian a lot of opportunity here to respond to this. There is an abyss. Do I want to counter this or not? That's the question. I am deciding to counter it. You know, I'm playing with Air Elementals, Mahamulti Jins. There's just a lot in my deck. Uh, ghost Ships. So there's just a lot of, in my deck that um, really hurts. By the abyss you know gets hurt by the abyss so in a way it's a good counter spell on the other hand i am going down again in cards and i still haven't been able to activate my library uh, my loa and the abyss wasn't a direct uh, threat for me now this is a direct threat do i have another counter spell if i counter then again i have to wait for another turn deciding not to go into seven drawing another one at least having an active loa now Kind of leveling the playing field. But look at the amount of permanence here of Florian. And remember, we both have, I believe, now seven in hand. Now he has seven. Now he goes to eight. And let's see what he's going to do. Tapping for two. You're playing a copy artifact. And it looks like there's a counter spell here. Mana drain. Okay, so I'm getting two extra mana next turn. At least that's something. But he's not done yet. Another copy artifact. Ah, this is unfortunate. The problem with Trikes is that he can now swing in for four and then deal six more damage with those counters. So that is 10 damage right there. And that is, of course, a problem. He's probably not going to do that now. Um, but I just wanted to mention it just to show you how lethal these creatures are. There's another Abyss. And he's flying in here. I think when I'm looking back at this match, I really shouldn't have countered that first Abyss. I'm not saying it's it's a... A mistake 
but it wasn't a threat at the time. Let's see what I can do here. Control magic on a trike, which is not ideal. He's simply going to take off all the counters. It's probably going to kill itself as well, dealing two damage to me and kill itself. So that's that control magic just turned into a very expensive removal spell. And I'm lucky with my mana drain that I can actually use two mana from the countered copy artifact to partially cast my control magic. And then I can at least have counter magic still up. Luckily, Florian is... Um, Courteous enough, I think that's the word to allow me to change that because I made a little misplay there. So thank you, Florian, for that. Playing a mana vault here. What is he going to do? I mean, he can animate his two Mistress Factories and swing in here with the trike dealing eight damage. Activating one of the factories, going to swing in here for six. He can pump it. So he's going to deal seven. I'm going to drop down to seven. Oh, let's see. Is he? Oh, no. Sight. No, shit. No, I'm on three. Count. Uh, oh. Okay. So just to recap, a moment ago, I was still on, what, 14 or something. And what happened here? He swung in for seven. I went down to seven life. Then he played a side blast for four. So I went down to three. And then he used his Triskelion for the last three points of power, so, uh, last three points of damage. So he just dealt 14 damage in one turn without needing a time walk or anything. I don't. I mean, I had a pretty good hand. I was showing the copy artifacts in my hand still. I, 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 I had a good opener here. And now I'm showing what I boarded out. I boarded out my pirate ship and, of course, my four Timmies and my two city in a bottles. Um, because those Timmies are just, they're great creatures, of course, but they're not useful when you're playing against Triskelion. So I boarded in an extra copy artifact, and I believe I boarded in uh, maybe four blue elemental blasts. I'm not sure I copied in, uh, I boarded in the um, Nevenerals discs. And I kind of went a little disco boat here by boarding in two extra ghost ships. That means I was playing with a full playset of ghost ships. Anyway, it's all... Um, Water under the bridge. Oh, look at this. I didn't even board in any blue elemental blasts. I decided not to go that route. Uh, instead, going to play with more control magics and kind of that disco boat. I wanted to surprise him with that. Oh, but uh, Florian, man, you really earned this victory. Well done. Uh, this was obviously the better deck in this matchup. And uh, thank you for the games. After this game, we also played a third game. We had some fun. I believe that uh, Florian also ended up winning uh, the group that I was a part of. So congratulations as well. Um, if you uh, would like to support the channel, I know it's a bit of a short vid today, but it is what it is. I mean, I got I got beaten with 2-0. There's nothing I could do about it. Let me actually know in the comments below when is the last time that you got your ass kicked like this. I mean, this was pretty brutal. Let me know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by leaving a like, becoming a subscriber. That all helps. And sharing this on your socials. Maybe I actually don't want you to share <laughs> this one on your socials. But you know what? Go ahead. Do it. I don't care. Um, you can also support the channel uh, by becoming a sponsor of the show. So you can become a patron. And you can do that by uh, visiting my Patreon page. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on there. Go over to my Patreon and, uh, and check it out. Just have a look. We've got quite a nice uh, few things going on. We've got our own little tournaments. We've got uh, a Discord. Uh, we have uh, quizzes and all sorts of stuff. Um, if you want, you can kick my ass. You know, you can play against me. Uh, check it out if you're interested. Uh, talking about um, patrons, Patreon, talking about channel members. Let's take a look at the end scroll and let's look at the amazing, fantastic patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks.
Ik het als ik het als zomba kan zien.